Well, the stakes are high as two scheming cousins hope to strike it rich in the new financial thriller, The Hummingbird Project. And helping them build a thousand mile tunnel is Mark Vega, played by Michael Mando. Though the journey isn't without some bumps in the road. Take a look. We're stuck. We're going back. No, 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 I need to go up there. Vinny. Yeah? I'm taking you back. No, get me up there. Shut up! We're going back right now. Ooh. Intense, intense. Okay. <laughs> Morning scene here. I know. Okay, so you play Mark Vega. Yeah. Tell us how he fits in with the cousins who are behind this whole project. So Mark Vega in the Hummingbird Project is a, an engineer. So I helped them build a fiber optic line from Kansas to New York. And the idea is to send information in the flap of a hummingbird's wing yeah. in order to beat the stock market and make about half a billion dollars. I need you to say that to me before I watch half this movie. A billion dollars. <laughs> it, it's, like a, it's like the great race, you know, where it, the stakes are as high as they can be. These cousins want to do something great with their lives. Yeah. Yeah. And they believe that if they can beat the stock market and make a lot of money, then they're accomplished. And their immigrant parents that come to this country yeah. Yeah. didn't come for uh, in vain. And Salma Hayek plays the, the big baddie who wants yeah. to stop them and get there before us. And I'm the engineer that helps them build that line. We've got to go through mountains. We've got to go through swamps in the dead of winter. Yeah. And we shot really on location. And it was really oh an unbelievable gosh. experience. Was yeah. it based on a true story? Or is it based uh, on a true story? Well, it, the technology right now is obsolete. But this is true. I mean, people did do that. People did build those lines. And the character that I play actually built the line, I think, from, like, probably from New York to Toronto or something like that. And the crew that, that, I, that my character was using is the real crew. Really? The, the, the technology is the real technology they used. And we were really out there frozen. So when the director oh would yell, cut, you would just hear the icy storm and, the, and, and, and the, the nature sort of not giving a hoot about what we're talking about. Yeah. Right. It That's does have amazing. kind of, there's an intenseness to this movie because, you know, with a lot of money comes a lot of competition, comes a lot of drama. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which I think is what kind of speeds this movie along. But, yeah. you know, you're talking about all these people being on set. Were there real engineers on set as well? Kind oh, of yeah. telling you what was, Everything, what would, how it would really make it work? Absolutely. Everything was incredibly accurate. You know, everything, we had the people there for consultation. I had about a two week preparation process where we went and we dug in, in the mountains and everything like that. And like I said, the crew that we were interacting with are real diggers. They really yeah. do that for a living. Yeah. And it was really great. And more than that, it's about um, how we're obsessed with time. You know, now with social media, everything's moving so fast. So there's a nice sort of cautionary tale in there as well. Yeah. Okay, we've got to talk about Better Call Saul. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Well, Season five. Yeah. <laughs> what can you tell us? When do you start shooting? Um, I can tell you it's like, um, you know, like if you, you know, when you look at like colors, it starts, it can start really, really bright and then get really, 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 really dark. Yeah. It gets really, really, really dark as the seasons go by. Well, I heard this season is a lot about your backstory, your character's backstory too. Is that I, true? This is what I can tell you. I can tell you it's like you're, you wake up in the morning, it's Sunday. <laughs> It's sunny, you're going for a picnic. Yeah. You get in the picnic, you turn on the radio, and it says there's going to be a big storm. That's about season two. Yeah. And then season three, you start seeing the storm. Season four, you're in the middle of the <laughs> yeah. storm. Season five, maybe your car's going yeah. round and yeah. round in the storm. I think that's where we're heading. Yeah. Dude, you need to do reviews on everything. Just <laughs> break down everything. Down. You have a great terms. way of yeah. describing things. Let's talk well, about... Well, you guys make it easy. Oh, that's nice. Well, so another huge franchise you're in, though, is the Spider-Man universe. Yeah, that universe. little, little, bug, little that, bug guy. That tiny little... Yeah, you're yeah, the yeah. scorpion. Any chance we're going to see you pop up in, like, another Marvel movie? Because, um, you know, they always do the... Yeah, yeah, they area. always yeah. do all that kind of stuff. I'd love to. I'd love to. We'll see. I mean, I love what they did with the Spider-Verse. Yeah. I that, that was that incredible. Was, oh, that blew me away. Yeah. And they had the scorpion in there, too. Yeah. I was that really was happy to see that. He kind of looked like me, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Breaking Bad, the movie, Nacho. Um, here's what I can tell you. I can tell you that... Um, I can just tell you that <laughs> Vince Gilligan is writing and directing, and whatever he does is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I can tell you Aaron Paul's in it. That's as much as I can say. Very cryptic. Yeah. Very cryptic. You'd be okay. a good <laughs> you would. All right, well, the Hummingbird Project opens in New York and L.A. on March 15th and in select theaters nationally March 22nd. So be sure to check it out. Michael, thank you.